We're gonna be using the new Ninja Foodie Grill. Yeah, it's too long to say. The name, it's the Ninja Foodie XL, no. Ninja Foodie Smart Pro XL Grill and Griddle. That is, it's too much for me to remember. So we're just gonna call it the, oh, it's written right here, I could've cheated. Yes, we're using the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Pro Grill and Griddle. Yeah. Really have been enjoying, I've only made like four or five things since two o'clock today and now I'm making smash burgers again. Yes, I made these just a few hours ago and I've, like I left a comment to Stephanie, shout out to Stephanie. What is that, Stephanie's Kitchen? Check out her channel. She also goes over, um, uses the Ninja Foodie appliances. So go check out her channel. Yeah, really liking the grill. So we're gonna make some smash burgers today. I partially follow the recipe, but don't follow it the whole way. Because these are, I'm actually using, I picked, I popped out earlier today, this morning, and I found these were on sale, that's why I bought them. <laughs> I picked up the Wahlburger Fresh Angus, it's a proprietary blend. So they probably mix their meats, which I don't think is on the back. Yes, these are bifocals. Yeah, they don't, uh, yeah, they don't tell you, like, what, what, they don't give you the blend, unfortunately, but that's okay. So we're gonna be using these. They're already made into patties. I just tossed that in the trash over there. They're already made into patties. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna smash one down on a plate, and then I'm gonna smash one down while it's on the griddle, okay? So yeah, come on over, let's get smashing. Yeah, let's get smashing. Apologize for the lighting. The lighting is terrible in this kitchen. I did forget to bring lights down. Yeah, I forgot my other bike that I like and I forgot my bike rack when I was heading down here. But that's okay. I will uh, pick up some lights to see what we can work with. You're gonna wanna put this in, which I'm gonna show you quickly right here. Push down. The most important thing is to get this rolling because this it takes like 10 minutes to preheat. And quick way to do this, you're gonna, that's the pouring drip area and that lines right up. Whoopsies. Make sure your splatter screen is in. We're gonna go ahead and shut the lid. Now, cruising on down to the control panel. So we're gonna turn it to barbecue griddle. The temp, we're gonna leave it on 400. Now they said to take the time, cause I didn't do this last time. I just did it by hand, but they said to set it to 14 minutes. Cause I don't think I cooked my burger for 14 minutes last time and it was done. It was 165 degrees. And then we're going to hit start. So just like the other grills, you have these lines here and then it'll work its way up to when it's preheated. So like you've seen before, we're gonna take two of these wall burgers, which are pretty cool. Chris said they were tasty. I haven't had one before. This is the first time I'm trying this out. So I'm not sure if we have any parchment paper in the house. I don't know. But this is a good size burger. I probably should weigh it. But these are gonna, it's gonna make a massive burger, both of these. So it's gonna show you what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna push that over. Now what you could do, you could actually oil this if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. What I'm gonna do, just take my hands and we're gonna smash this down. Well, it's not perfectly round, but that's okay. We're going for the rustic look. All right, so that, that one's all set. And to be honest with you, you can do it on the griddle because I actually did it earlier. So I think I'm just gonna, of course, change my mind and we're just going to make it easier and safer. We're just gonna smash the burger here. Let me go get another piece of uh, plastic wrap. Beautiful. Uh oh. Let's move this guy over. So this is gonna make a massive, massive burger. And just do the same thing. Smash this guy about. Like when you do it on a griddle, like when I do it outside up north, you use a metal spatula and you push it down with another spatula or I just use my hand sometimes, which really isn't safe, but that's what I do. Remember, what, what, what's that old saying that your parents, what the heck was it? Do as I say, don't do as I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's just go over this recipe here. So we're doing, we're gonna select barbecue griddle, 400. 
Set time for 14 minutes and we're going to let this preheat. Preheating will take approximately 10 minutes. So we did that. You can season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, which you know something? All right, you twisted my arm. We'll take a little salt and pepper and garlic powder and we'll season away. We will follow directions for once in our life. Just a little bit. I'm making a mess. Just get it everywhere if you want. Salt is personal preference. Salt it as how much as you like. Or if you don't want to add salt, don't add any salt. I got to get another magnum. So they're done. I'm not going to put any garlic powder on. And I have a brioche bun. I got to get Chris to bring some home from the place that he works. And shout out to if anybody's in Naples, Florida. Please go up to Seed to Table on Immokalee Road. It is wonderful. The breads there are amazing. Everything's just amazing there. But it's a shout out for, they don't need a shout out, trust me, because that place is amazing. So we're all set. Oh, one more thing. Cheese wise, I'm a Havarti girl. It's meek, it's mild. I love Havarti. It's kind of like American cheese to me because it's, it's mild. I'm a mild cheese eater. So yeah, this is the hard part, waiting. So tick tock, tick tock. While this is waiting, I'm just going to, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get something to drink. Okay, it has signaled that it is preheated. We're gonna go ahead and open the grill. We are gonna grab those burgers. Yeah, and they said to press down for five seconds. Except these burgers are giant. Cause you want that nice, nice char. That's why I prefer to smush them right on the grill. It's just, I think it's better. Oh yeah. All right. And you use a spatula, uh, a silicone spatula. This, I, I don't have a flipper. I think I have a flipper in my camping stuff in the car. Chris doesn't have one, so I'm gonna have to pop out or order one on Amazon. And yeah, look at that. You got some serious sizzle going on. This is what they look like after six minutes of cook time. Where I'm just waiting for this machine that's gonna actually beep and then tell me to flip them. I'm trying to be patient because I really want to flip them now because of the juices on top. It's telling me, it's telling me to flip. <laughs> All right, so we have eight minutes left and I don't think these burgers need to cook for another eight minutes to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna do my own thing here and we're gonna flip. Now, I do want to be careful because I've got grease all over myself um, when I made these burgers earlier. So just make sure you flip them away from you because there's a lot of grease. And if I had a proper spatula, that would have went very, very nicely. Shoot, I should have left it going. So it just actually said, see where those numbers are? It actually said flip. It only um, displayed for maybe like a second or two, and then now it's continuing to count down. So probably at seven minutes, halfway through, it said flip. But once again, if your burgers are thin, or if you want them cooked like medium rare or rare, you're, doing, you're gonna have to adjust your cooking times. I mean, the machine is smart, but I'm gonna split this. Cooking skills, I don't know, just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here because I don't want to say the machine's not smart. It is smart, actually. However, the human touch is always nice. What I'm going to do right now is, I'm going to grab my little pan here. The kitchen might be a mess over here. Sorry, everybody. Oh, yeah, this is my first Ninja Foodie. I got that, I don't know how many years ago. Oops, I'm just going to take a little bit of mayo. A little bit of ketchup and just a pinch of mustard. I usually get this all over me too. Ah, oh, it's not even open yet. Crikey. This is my chop sauce. Yep, good, good, good. 
Oh, there it is. Well, there it is right there. Burgers are done. You can temp them if you want, but I know the burgers are done. Now with the cheese, to prevent this cheese from flying all over the place, push it down so it adheres to the burger. Because, uh, like I said, I just did this a bit ago and I had cheese go a few places. I'm just going to toss the... Ah! And watch out for splashing. I just got splashed. And we're just going to lower the lid. And what I do, I usually cook this not that long because the heat will help. Like, if you know the burger's done, you can actually shut this off. So it will continue to cook. But I just want to see if that cheese is going to fly all over the place. I'm curious about that. All right, we're up to speed. So I just want to see. See how the cheese flies off just a bit? So what I'm going to do is... Actually, I'm going to show you that just so you know. What I just did there, I hit this button. This is your start-stop button. So I stopped it. So what I'm going to do is just shut the lid. The Havarti melts super, super quick, and this will be done in just a second. Yeah, we are officially melted. So I'm going to take the bottom bun, put that on the plate. I'm going to take just a bit of our homemade chump, chump sauce, what do you want to call that stuff. It's just ketchup, mayo, and mustard mixed together. I'm going to grab a burger. Place that right on there. See how much that burger shrunk? Place another burger. Ah, yeah, baby. Oh, I need that again. Gonna take that top bun. Ah, hot, hot, hot. Just gonna put a little bit of sauce on top. There. You can put as much or as little sauce as you want. I don't want that much sauce. Ow! Yeah. Smash burger. Smash burger is done. Look at that. Yeah, this is a super sized burger. Okay. Yeah. Grease. You know this burger is going to be good because it put out a lot of grease. But yeah. Look at this. Ow. Let's get to the taste test. Oh, it's still quite warm. This is a this is a big big sandwich. Whoa! Really good. They need to be thinner. Like your usual smash burger is actually much much thinner, so I should have actually squished them a bit more. But overall, the taste of the meat is actually very, very good. Um, the wall burger is, is the wall burger is a good, good patty. I had to try it again. You got to make sure, and I'm willing to take one for the team. And my mother said, "Do not chalk in my mouth, though," and I broke the rules. So yeah, if you got the new grill, new grill slash griddle, give it a whirl and make these smash burgers. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I appreciate all my viewers. Thanks for being patient with me because the last couple of months, well actually four months, uh, I was off traveling and then I did come to Florida to work. Yeah, I was exhausted. I'm not going to lie. I was exhausted the first two weeks because um, I wasn't used to standing for an extended period of time, shall we say. Um, yeah, because I'm a travel nurse. And yeah, I just, I was out of practice. So the first, I did nothing. I admit it. The first week, week and a half, I did nothing. The only thing I could do is just go to work. And yep. So today's, uh, actually today's Saturday. So this week, I'm finally going to get back into my groove. And yeah, hopefully I won't fall off the wagon too much. So thanks everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care. Enjoy your burger.